This is episode 15 of the Online Playmaker Sessions with online marketing trainers Chris and Susan Beasley from the UK. Welcome to the Online Playmaker Sessions. This is the place for the latest What's Working Now strategies from the best online playmakers, the top marketers, the rising stars who are making it happen right now. Every week, you'll get real, actionable lessons that you can take and apply immediately in your business, delivered in short 20-minute sessions. Our focus is your results. Here's your host, entrepreneur, world-class trainer, and marketing strategist, Norbert Orlowitz. Hello, online playmakers. If this is your first time tuning into the Playmaker Sessions, thank you for choosing us. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. And if you prefer video, our YouTube channel at onlineprofitplaybook.tv. As with all of our episodes, we have all the show notes, transcripts, and actionable tips over on the blog. Just head over to www.onlineprofitplaybook.com. You'll also be able to get access to my complimentary five-video tutorial series on building the proper foundation for your online business, as well as several other free trainings, including my Instant Income Multiplier tutorial. And if you're ready to multiply your results fast, check out the premium membership of our Online Profit Playbook, where our guests open up their closely guarded playbooks and walk you step-by-step through the exact marketing funnels and sales process they use to build their audience, grow their influence, and make sales. Get the coveted Online Profit Playbook today. Just head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the Playmakers. Chris and Susan Beasley were successful accountants and management consultants who made some bold decisions to change their life and embark on starting their own online marketing business. Although they loved helping their clients and made a very good income, they ended up having very little time to enjoy it. After several big life events and the recession of 2008 wiped out their retirement, Chris and Susan decided to commit to growing their online business to achieve their retirement dreams. With zero knowledge or experience about online marketing, Chris and Susan found a mentor and began developing their skills and taking massive action. In 2010, they gave notice to their past clients and went full-time in their online business. Since that time, Chris and Susan have traveled around the world, speaking at events, leading masterminds, and showing others how to leverage the power of the internet to create the lifestyle you desire. This week's online playmakers, Chris and Susan Beasley. All right, welcome back, everyone. This is episode 15 of the Online Playmaker section, Sessions. It's uh, Norbert Orlowitz here. And I've got two very special guests all the way from across the big pond from the UK, Chris and Susan Beasley. How are you guys doing this morning? Or this set you oh, know, for you guys? It's afternoon, actually. It's tea time. We're having tea, actually. So, yeah, we're good, thank you. Apart yeah, from the fact it's pouring with rain, as it always does in London. Yeah, we're great. Thank you very much having had a good new year and uh, just looking forward to a fantastic 2016. Absolutely. As as all of us are, and I'm sure a lot of the listeners are as well, you know, we get started with 2016 and we, we start setting goals and we have, you know, big expectations and lots of excitement. And um, I'm excited for you guys to share with us, you know, some of the things that are working for you in your business, because I think a lot of these, a lot of what we're going to talk about today is going to be so relevant for people in 2016. Uh, you know, if you're if you're looking to make a breakthrough, you're looking to make things happen in 2016. I think this is going to be a very very powerful interview. So, Chris and Susan, we're going to jump right in here. And what I'd love to do is kind of go back a few years. Uh, when did you guys get started online? What was what was the timeline here? How long have you been online now? We've been online for, I think it's about five and a five half and a years, bit years, five and a bit years now. Okay. So give us a, a quick backstory of what got you involved in, uh, in online marketing. How did you get into this space? Okay. Um, the prime reason, the prime reason for us was time. And I think going on from there, looking at looking forward to retirement, because I mean, our background is we have a professional background. We are accountants and management consultants. And we had we had our own business, if you like. Um, 
her own consultancy for best part of what 20 years i think it was 25 years 25 actually. years something like that a long time anyway but of course you know along with success in that sort of business which is you know to typical traditional business it's all time for money and you end up working more and more hours more and more days longer and longer days and we got to a point where we were working six seven days a week 10 12 hours a day and although we had a good income you know there was no doubt about it it gave us a good life it gave us a good lifestyle in terms of money but it gave us a really lousy lifestyle in terms of time i mean you know if we ever wanted to go skiing and we've got a real passion for skiing we we we've been skiing since 1991 i think yeah. and absolutely love it and love the mountains and we've actually we actually bought a house out there so that was you know we really did go for it it was a great dream of ours but the problem was we were only getting there about three weekends in a season which is about 16 or 18 weeks so that was mm -hmm. just wasn't happening for us and even when we got there the old mobile phone would ring you know and the clients would be on the phone and when are you coming back what are you doing can you help us with this so but here's the funny thing you know we didn't get into this online world deliberately in any way shape or form it was only the fact that the internet was coming to the fore um, we actually wanted to be better for our clients mm. to offer them the kinds of services they weren't getting from anyone else and we started investigating online marketing for them bought a course as as you all do and sort of delving a little bit deeper we went do you know what we can actually transfer our business skills online and solve our problem at the same time. And so over a period of months, we made a very drastic decision um, from many of those stories, you know, the uh, straws that break the camel's back type stories. And we just said, you know, what the hell, let's give up our management consultancy. And in six months, we give notice to our clients and we were online full time and absolutely loving it. It's a, I mean, an amazing transition. I can just imagine a career transition for you guys at that point in your life. Now, tell me when you first started online, I mean, you, you do the courses, you go through that, through that process. And, you know, there's a lot of marketers that come online, they buy a lot of courses, they get thrown into lots of different directions. And most marketers struggle for quite a bit of time. Uh, did you guys find that as well? Was there a period of, of struggle and challenge? And oh, what, were yeah. some of the, what, what were some of the big challenges and roadblocks that you had to overcome? I mean, let, let me tell you, and everybody <laughs> who's watching this will relate to this. I mean, we bought our first product, which was $3,000. Okay. And our, Susan said our intention was to give everybody six months and then work part time and then go full time. Um, it sat on the shelf for nine months. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't help anybody. No, it didn't uh, help anybody. No, least of all us. <laughs> yeah. But three thousand. So, um, yeah. but yeah. once we, you know, we'd made this decision, um, the thing was, was that that was it. We were going for it, and the biggest thing that we had a challenge with, I think, was finding somebody who we could work with who had already done what we wanted to do, and so that was our first challenge. Um, you know, we were scouring the internet and looking for somebody, and we found a found a guy uh, who was prepared to help us, uh, but he was 27 years old, mm. and we were that was a mental and we were 55, <laughs> 56. You know, so all of a sudden you're going, well, this guy who's who I've got children older than him, he's going to teach me to do something totally new. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, he did. You know, he knew what we needed to know. And to be honest, you know, to answer your question, were we overwhelmed with information and what to do? You bet we were. Um, but as we sort of proceeded along the line and we started doing things and they worked, we started to get confidence in what we were doing and we just mm. stayed focused on learning the next bit and the next bit and the next bit. And I guess it's just our personalities. We're very goal driven. Um, we knew where we wanted to go and we made sure that we did it. Was it hard work? Damn hard work, yes. I mean, you know, really you're, you're going through a skill set change. You know, the guy said to us, right, the first thing you need to do is build a website. So I haven't got a clue how to build a website. He not said, techie. <laughs> no, he said, get this piece of software, watch the training videos and do what it says. So that's what we did 
but the thing was his his whole his whole drive behind us was I would what I do what I tell you to do and do it every day and it was all about consistency and once once you get that into your head that you know we would come home from work because we were still working long hours we would come home from work we'd get home at seven in the evening susan would go and start the dinner i would sit down and start some work and then we'd have dinner and then susan would do some work you know once you get that routine that daily routine in your head it all starts to come together um, but until you get there you're going to be all over the place to be perfectly honest and, and, and here's a really funny story that tags on to that is because our mentor was so um good with us and telling us we needed to do this if we wanted to be as successful as he was and he was very successful um we always assumed because we didn't know the internet that well that he was sort of perched on our shoulder watching what we were doing that he would know if we hadn't done the website he would know if i hadn't created my facebook account my twitter account my youtube account and done all that stuff and we sort of felt that any minute he could hit us up on skype and say come on then show me what you've done and because of that that it, we just did it you know it kept um, you accountable it kept yeah, you accountable. yeah yeah so yeah. Fun, it's funny the stories are funny yeah. really I, I think you know and back to your question yes there are challenges um i think that the biggest one is learning a new skill set mm -hmm. and then i think having the belief that it works yeah. mm -hmm. mm. because you know, we started doing all this stuff and to us, we weren't getting any results. And then he just said to us, just keep doing what I tell you, keep doing what I tell you. I'm telling you it will work. And then all of a sudden we got our first lead, <laughs> you know, to go, wow. And the belief changes mm -hmm. because I've now seen what he tells me works. And then he said we said when are we going to get our first sale he said we what we were doing at the time which was high ticket he said you won't get your first sale for about three months with this i can tell you he said because you're starting brand new you've got no brand you've got nothing you've just got to work um and at 12 weeks we got our first sale Spot so on. you know and again big belief shift you know it does work and he does know what he's talking about and so i think right. they're the sort of two big challenges that we went through was skill set and belief i think yeah and we've carried that on to our business right to, to very right up to today and we know that if we teach that to our students and our business partners and our clients they can do it too if they have the belief set prepared to learn new skills and get the right coaching and training absolutely That's one of the things that I always love to ask about is is breakthroughs and and you guys have already mentioned several different breakthroughs that kind of happened for you um you know one was making the decision right that course sat on the shelf until you made the decision that we're going to do this full time this is actually going to be our business not just a hobby not just something that we're going to try um another big breakthrough you mentioned was getting a mentor yeah right? Um, another big breakthrough was taking action, actually following the steps, following what you were being taught and taking action. Now, I like to talk about specific actions because I see a lot of marketers online, you know, there's so, there's a hundred different things that we should be doing, right? I mean, you know, now there's Periscope and now there's live streaming and now there's all these different things that we should be doing. There's Instagram, there's Pinterest, there's Facebook, there's LinkedIn, but I'm more concerned about what are the, the really big things that we need to do in our business that are going to give us the biggest results. So I'm interested when you guys started to see these breakthroughs, what were the actions that you were taking in your business? What were you specifically doing? Um, well, I would definitely say it was consistency, doing consistent stuff every single day. Um, we hadn't been given an overload of tasks to do. We were told very specifically to do certain things we looked at our skill set because um, we work as a couple and that won't apply to everyone here mm -hmm. you know if you're a solopreneur you're going to have to do the whole caboodle yourself until you can can outsource it but that was one of the things that we really got into our heads that we had to be consistent we had to find where our audience were where people were who would buy 
what it was that we were selling and really not be distracted by all this other stuff that's going on out there and other like people telling you oh well, you might find more leads over there and you mm. might find more over there like you talked about um, with periscope and the light and uh, for us it was staying really focused on um facebook which had no clue about when i started thought it was just for kids mm. even our children were saying mom you you got to get on facebook this is when we had our ski chalet business and we needed to get clients for that Do you know get on facebook it'd be the perfect place to find your people who want to have their skiing holidays and you know and they, they gave us the confidence to do that because when you're a bit older it is quite scary isn't it? yeah i think the other the other key thing was we were we were marketing every single day yeah. and you know we were using paid marketing because whilst free marketing is, is okay and it's good susan was doing a lot of content she liked writing she was doing blogging um we were in actual fact when we first started out doing videos from day one uh, from, from, from day one, one from day one because prior to coming online we'd already about not about 2006 2007 we were already we we joined a, a network marketing business that was all about video email okay yeah and so we got into we got into this habit of doing videos and we thought our clients would love yeah. it, our business clients. <laughs> mm -mm, no, they weren't going to get on video, no way. <laughs> but, but, that was the, but that was the point, you know, the, the thing was, was we were comfortable with video. And, you know, so we used to do it. And when we started five years ago, video was different. So, you know, it helped us stand out. Um, today, video is the norm. Um, or so it would appear. And but almost, uh, almost a necessary norm. Yeah. yeah. But there are still thousands of marketers who don't do it. True. So I think there's, uh, you know, the, the, the things that we were talking about, I mean, Susan was doing content in terms of writing. It wasn't blogging in those days. It was article writing. Yeah. Uh, same thing, but it was, art it was, articles it was articles. I wrote. I can't um, believe it now. So we used to do content. And then our big paid marketing was Google AdWords um which was great up until the end of 2011 uh, mm -hmm. and then the big chop came ah, and guess where we were we were skiing <laughs> we were skiing <laughs> whoops our leads were dried up like boom it just stopped it was horrifying remember that and actually if you would you, you know we're talking about breakthroughs that probably for us was the biggest breakthrough we had regarding paid marketing because mm. it was the only paid marketing we yeah. were doing so we were then having to look for something else because the only other lead generation was through social media mm. which actually i was doing really well with but it's not enough you've got to have a constant and consistent stream yeah. of traffic so big big breakthrough oh, there you need huge. more than one lead source yeah 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 absolutely absolutely that's 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 awesome great uh great advice great advice and it's it's interesting this commonality you know most of the marketers i, I want to say even all of the marketers that i've interviewed so far for these sessions when i ask them about the breakthrough pretty much i think every single one of them talk about starting to do videos hmm. as one of their big breakthroughs and there's there's something you know there's there's a level of of a, there's a confidence shift that happens when you get out there and you start creating videos and I, and I gotta say it's one of the big advice that i give to students now you know it's like if, if you're serious about your business if you're serious about doing this you got to get out there you got to start creating content and i say create start creating videos because it'll what it will do for your business and the way it'll transform your confidence and, and your, your presence and your posture online i think it is the single most important thing you could start doing what do you think about that Oh my goodness, I couldn't agree with you more. In fact, at this week, I went back to doing what we call our videos from the office. Mm -hmm. And I had, I'd stopped for a while. We do a load when we're traveling and we're training because you're really in the mindset of it and it's nice, you've got nice locations. And I'd stopped doing ones from the office because I'd seen so many really professional looking videos you know with all these lower thirds and music intros outros and i go you know my videos are pretty boring compared with that so i just stopped doing them then i thought 
this is absolutely ridiculous. I was reading Jack Canfield, um, The Success Principles, and I just read something in there in, in the section of chapter and it just said, good is good enough. Mm. And I thought, you are ridiculous, Susan. You've just got to get back to this. So I went straight on Facebook that morning, straight after reading that, stuck my phone on a, one of these you know, tripods, did a video, put it straight up to Facebook and it was called Good is Good Enough. And I had so much feedback from that. You know, perfection is... You don't need perfection in this industry. People want to know you. They want to love you. They want to build a relationship with you. They want to see you as you are raw. So just deliver it to them as it is. Does it matter if your arm's hanging out in the video or you've got stuff going on in the office? And I'm really perfect about what I want behind me in the office. You know that we talked about it earlier. But it doesn't matter. It's what you deliver to your audience that's important. And so that's... The biggest tip I can give you regarding video, don't be fearful of it. You've got an iPhone, you've got a smartphone, everyone has them these days. They are good enough for video, so just do it. Isn't it amazing the excuses we'll come up with? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just I just got caught by uh, by Odessa the other day actually making excuses too, and I was like, oh geez, that's right, you're right. That's a, that's a bad excuse. That's awful. Mm -hmm. And we just we do that. We do that all the time. We're all guilty of it. So we got to watch out, especially when it comes to something as important as as video marketing in our business. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so let's let's shift focus a little bit. Let's talk about um, let's talk about 2016 because because here we are. It's January 2016. And, you know, everyone's, you know, there's so many things that change online and, you know, I'm always interested in new trends online, but I always teach the fundamentals, the things that don't change. But let's talk about 2016. Let's talk about what are you guys doing in your business right now for marketing that's working? What are you going to be doing in 2016? Where do you see some of the trends that are happening? Okay. Well, trend-wise, fascinatingly enough, I, I was reading a, um, a Facebook post which went to a blog post um, from Ryan Dice. Um, it was actually when Chris was having his little operation in hospital and I actually had time to do reading and delving into stuff, which, you know, we none of us do enough of sometimes. And he was predicting, he had some of his top guys in his business give their perspective from different views like branding, marketing, et cetera, et cetera. But the key things that really and truly stood out, which I had to tell him about as he woke up from the <laughs> anesthetic, funnily enough. I'm sure it went in one ear and out the other. But uh, I actually said, said to him, you know, what we are already doing and planning to do more of in 2016 is exactly what he's predicting are the best processes for 2016. That is continue your branding, especially use video, great content delivery, in multiple different formats and media, um, target marketing, using Facebook ads in particular for reaching out to your target audience, then building a relationship with that target audience, and then all the things that we forget, the bells and whistles we forget to add on the end, like retargeting. Retargeting is gonna be really, really big in 2016, and those people who are up and running ready are gonna have like the perfect storm i will say and i'm really excited because we're there and ready yeah that's oh that's, that's it, it. Right. that's it for me that's <laughs> it for me i don't know if you i don't know what else you want to add to that <laughs> no Which, i'll take yeah, a lot of it sorry uh, sorry norbert no i was just going to say which a lot of it really is is nothing new is no. it no 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 I, I think you know you mentioned things like um you know, different, there's Blab and all these other little, Peri yeah. Periscope, all these other little trends, if you like, these new yeah. things that, that come out. And you get a lot of people jump on them. But for us, I mean, we've been guilty of it. You know, we went on Periscope to go and have a look. We've been on Blab to go and have a look. But you soon, you soon find out that, you know, you get people jump on it and they'll do a course on it. It's out in 10 minutes and it's basically how to, how to do a periscope, which realistically isn't that difficult anyway. <laughs> but people, people do it, which is great. But the thing is to us, 
if we're not going to use it tomorrow and it's not going to grow our business tomorrow, leave it alone. Carry on what you're doing if what you're doing is working. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think there's a, I think there's a real power in keeping things simple. I remember that that quote from um, uh, Richard Branson that I love so much. Um, Complexity is is for fools. You know, the the real challenge is to keep things simple, keep things yeah. simple and effective. And, and I think that's that's one of the big challenges for internet marketers as well is to keep their business simple. You know, just focus on the things that work, focus on the fundamentals, and and be consistent with those fundamentals. That's more important than jumping on the latest trend. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. And I mean, if we look at last year, for example, last year was all about complex sales funnels. That was the thing. It's what everybody was talking about. We looked at our own business and we went, oh, my goodness, we haven't got a complex sales funnel. Ours is very simple. And then we said, do you know what? But it works. Why do we want to complicate it? Let's just do more of the ones that work. And actually, I was on a... I was on a webinar uh, last night with Kim Roach. I don't know if you know Kim from Buzzblogger. And she was she was doing a webinar, her first one of 2016. And she was saying, my prediction, which is hers, is we have to go back to basics and keeping things simple. In fact, I've written it on the whiteboard behind me. And she just went, you know, she just went the little boxes that we tried to complicate into such big sales funnels are really simple it's traffic to a lead page some sort of training behind some it training behind it email collect emails build a relationship with your list and send them to your core offer and all you do what she was suggesting was going to grow exponentially her business and which we're planning to do as well this year is add a webinar every single week done there you go and i mean that formula I know we've been using since 2007. Yes. Right, and that's that's why I love to focus on the things that that don't change because it doesn't matter what happens in the marketplace, what new social media platform comes out, it's all irrelevant if you're at least got the fundamentals in place. And what you just shared there, that that process, you know, marketers have been using since before 2007. You know, yeah. it's a, it's a very simple process, and it completely absolutely still works today and it's 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 a fundamental process in marketing all right listen we got we got to wrap this up here we're coming up to 30 minutes um i would love for you guys to just leave our audience with three three key tips for success online so we've got we've got people listening right now they want to create a breakthrough in 2016 what are the three things that they need to focus on chris and susan your advice could we possibly make it four and I'll give yes. you our, and I'll, I'll give you our formula because I like to give a bonus Perfect. and this is, a, this is really easy for them to write down because it, um, and they can think of something it's BLT plus fries so think of a Big Mac plus fries so B believe believe in yourself your business and what it is you're promoting L is for learn Continue to learn the things that you need to know how to do in your business and leave everything else until you do need to learn it. Mm. T is the big one. Take action, the doing word. Do stuff every single day that generates income for your business as well as things that will help build your business. But first, build the income. Uh, Plus F for focus 100 percent focus on the business that you're in where you want to take it to and nothing but nothing else that's it i like it blt plus fries yeah that's it blt yeah. plus fries yeah. been teaching it for years but it works it works yeah absolutely i love that so it's it's belief learn learn the skills yeah. take action and uh focus, focus. that's I it focus. and then well, that was one last one. Oh, you got another bonus video video do video <clears throat> has to be video yeah absolutely i mean and, and that comes into the take action the take action part but the specific action 
uh, creating videos. Absolutely, I, I got to stand behind that as well. You know, for those of you that are watching this right now, if you do one thing in 2016 to grow your business, start doing video. Um, guarantee you, it's going to change you. It's going to change your business. Absolutely, and you've heard, heard it here from Chris and Susan as well. Guys, thank you so much. This was an awesome interview. Really enjoyed it. Always love chatting with you guys. And uh, look forward to our, our premium session for our Online Profit Playbook members. Chris and Susan are going to be opening up their business and uh, walking us through their process, through one of their simple sales funnels uh, yeah. that they use through, uh, through, through social media to grow their audience, to generate leads, and build their business. So uh, if you're not a member, you'll definitely want to sign up and, uh, and get all the details on their exact process. They're going to be uh, revealing their marketing playbook to us. Chris and Susan, thank you so much again for, for being here, for taking your time, and for sharing all of your wisdom and experience with our audience. Very much appreciated. It's great. It's, to, a it's great. pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. We've it's loved great it. to chat to you, Norbert. Talk to you soon. Awesome. Awesome. All right, everyone. See you in the next episode of the Online Playmaker Sessions. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this week's Playmaker Session. If you love the session, subscribe now to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly episodes. Be sure to also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Just type in Online Playmakers in the search bar and click subscribe and be sure to leave a five-star review. All of the episodes, show notes, transcripts, resources, and bonuses are available on the blog over at onlineprofitplaybook.com, along with several bonus free tutorials I've created for you as well. Your fast track to results is to follow the playmakers. You can download their closely guarded playbooks and follow them step by step to grow your influence, build your audience, and create results in your business right now. Head over to OnlineProfitPlaybook.com and join the Playmakers to get full access today. Thank you again for joining us today and be sure to tune in next week as we bring you another power-packed session with the top Playmakers online. This is Norbert Orlowitz signing off.